Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at tallies, frequency and relative frequency tables. So a tally is recording a tally mark. So that's just a way of counting things up when we've got a bunch of data. So the frequency is looking at how many times each of the outcomes occurs. And our relative frequency is when we turn that into a probability. So we take our frequency and divide by the total number. So let's look at this example here. So what I've done is on the left hand side there I've put my different scores. So the data itself could take any value from 2 to 8. So that's what I've done in my tables. I've just got a column there with those scores. Now I'm just going to go through and record the tallies. So as I do this I'm just going to cross out each data value so that I remember I've done it. So I've got a 4, put a tally for that. An 8, put a tally. 3, put a tally to put a tally so I'm just going to go through and add tallies for each number that I have in my data set. And there I go. So now I've recorded all the data. Now I'm going to turn that into frequency. So I'm just going to count up. In this first block there, I've got a tally of 4. So that would be a frequency of 4. The next one, there's 3 tally marks. 2, 2, 2, 4 and 3. So now to find my relative frequency, the first thing I need to do is total that all up. So if I add that up, 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, and 2 is 13, and 4 is 17, and 3 is 20. So I've got a total of 20 pieces of data altogether. So now to find the relative frequency, I need to do the relative frequency for each score. So the score of 2, well that occurred 4 times out of the 20 times. So that's what its relative frequency would be. I can simplify that fraction or I could turn it into a decimal, whichever I prefer. So I could write that as um, 1 fifth or I could write that as 0 0.2. Okay, so any of those are acceptable. The next one, so the next score of 3, that's got a frequency here of 3. So that would give me a relative frequency of 3 out of 20. Um, which I can't simplify the fraction, but I could turn that into a decimal. Um, of 0.15. Sorry, my brain just went blank. <laughs> the next one, the score of 4, has a frequency of 2. So its relative frequency would be 2 out of the total of 20. And that goes down to 1 over 10, or 0.1. The next one is the same, so the score of 5 is the same frequency of 2, so its relative frequency will also be the same, so 1 out of 10 or 0 0.1. And the same for the value of 6, that's got the same relative frequency as the one above. Now number 7, the score of 7, that's got a, relative, a frequency of 4, so its relative frequency is 4 out of 20 which simplifies to 1 out of 5 or 0 0.2. And lastly, a score of 8, that's got a frequency of 3, so I'm going to write that as 3 over 20, and that simplifies to 0 0.15. If I add all those relative frequencies up, they should add up to 1. Um, and the reason they should add up to 1 is because all probabilities have to add up to 1 or to 100%. So that's how we do tallies, frequencies and relative frequencies. Thanks very much for watching.